Welcome back to the channel. We've went ahead and washed and rinsed our chicken and we're ready to make something good. So we're going to go over to the stove and see and the refrigerator and see what good vegetables and stuff we're going to put together and what we're going to make. Okay. Thank you for all my current subscribers and newcomers. Go ahead and push that red subscribe. Well, I decided to go ahead and cut that chicken up and put it on to boil. Okay. So that's what we're going to do now. We're just putting this on to boil while we go ahead and cut up all these these vegetables. Okay. And remember with your jalapeno, we're just going to remove the seeds. Still going to use the pepper, but we're going to remove the seeds. So that it gives it that nice jalapeno flavor without that jalapeno hot. Okay, we got a couple of peppers is fine, but all the rest are not. So we're just going to get rid of that. And we're going to cut up those peppers. And the rest of the vegetables to add to our chicken. All right, we need to add. This chicken is boiling, but we want to add some of our broth, chicken broth, homemade chicken broth we made from when we boiled a chicken before and that top that's on the top is just a little fat yeah and we're gonna pour that in there so that's probably about two cups of chicken broth we're pouring in there and we're gonna put that top right back on there now we have cut up most of our vegetables we've got the <clears throat> jalapeno red bell pepper jalapeno red bell pepper onion um, green bell pepper and celery and we're gonna start these into the mix also okay and we got to cut up our um, mushrooms yet and we're gonna add this Southwest um, salad bowl because it's got kale kohlrabi sweet potatoes black bean chipotle corn salsa shredded cheddar cheese we're not gonna use the cheese but we're gonna use everything else for the vegetables these come in real handy when you want to Take the nutritional value up on something that you're cooking. You want to add this to it. Okay, because we're going to get those in the pot. <clears throat> going to make it really nice. This is almost like I make my chicken soup, but when I make my chicken soup, I use a whole chicken and I just boil it and I start adding all my vegetables to it. But this right here is going to end up being chicken new chicken and noodles, something I love from my childhood. So we're going to go ahead and get these mushrooms cut up and add these to the mix. And then once that really starts boiling, we'll be ready to add our noodles. Okay. Got those mushrooms cut up really fine. Okay, and put the rest of them in there. I'm going to open up this bowl. Take the sauce and the cheese out. And we're going to take this here. And we're going to chop this up a little bit more, okay? So now we're chopping up everything. See that? So we're going to do the same thing with this. And we're going to chop all that up and add that to the mixture also. Be mindful, this has sweet potatoes, cauliflower, kale, some other good vegetables in it that we're going to add to our mixture. Okay. Rest of this. Add it to that. And then we'll be putting the seasonings we're going to add. We're going to use some of this um, roasted garlic herb. 
some black pepper, garlic powder, and a little parsley. Okay, with this um, roasted garlic pepper, I think we're going to use maybe like a teaspoonful. Yep. And then your pepper, we're going to use maybe like, I'd say it's a half a teaspoon. Yeah. And then garlic, if you have fresh garlic, use that. But if not, go ahead and use a full teaspoon of your garlic and your parsley. We're going to use maybe a teaspoon and a half. Okay, we're just going to stir this up. And that's boiling really nicely. Okay, normally we would boil our noodles and pour off the starch. But this time, we're going to add our noodles. Yay, we're cooking chicken and noodles. We're going to add our noodles and we're not going to pour the water off because we want the starch so that the mixture is thick. We'll use that starch as a thickener. Now at this point where the chicken is pretty much done, we're going to go ahead and add the noodles to this. And we're going to go ahead and add a whole pack because it's an eight pack serving. Okay, let's go ahead and add your noodles. Push them down in the mixture. And we're going to go ahead and put that top on it. Now, if you see you don't have enough liquid, you can add another cup of the chicken broth. But be mindful, if you do, add another cup of water. Because you don't want it to be too salty. Okay? Noodles are done. It's time to add your can of cut ring of mushroom soup to it. You can add one or two cans. I'm going to add two and be done with it. And you're just going to take that, stir that around. Once you stir that in, this is pretty much done. So this is your chicken and noodles. Try that out. See how you like it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.